Hi, this is Dolorino. I'm going to do another pour today. Uh, today I'm trying yet another recipe. I did, and I do all my stuff by weight, and I've already mixed these up, but I did 50 grams of the pouring medium by Deco Art, 50 grams of Floetrol, and then 30 grams of the Artist Law Flow Acrylic Paint. And the thing I liked about this mix is the consistency was good right out of the the mix. I didn't have to add any water or alcohol or anything to it, so I kind of like that. I think anything you add to that starts diluting your paint, but that's just kind of my opinion. And I mixed my colors for the first time too. I got a blue green, a purple, the white obviously it's not mixed, an orange, and then a leaf green. So I mixed my colors together to come up with the different colors. So I got five different colors. I calculated this out, hopefully I uh, calculated correctly, where I'll have the uh, proper amount of paint to cover this canvas. I usually work on 12 by 12 canvases. This is a 16 by 20. So I'm going to give these things one last stir and then I'm going to add and I've decided I'm going to go five drops of silicone in each color. And I've seen different stuff as far as mixing the silicone in. I've seen some people put it in they just kind of go like that a little swipe and I saw another video where they mixed it a little bit better than that and to me it looked like they got better results so I'm going to do a little bit more mixing so I'm going to put five drops in each cup you know what I'm going to go six cups because I did three last time and I had a lot I had half of this amount so I'm going to go with uh, I'm going to go with six drops in each color two three six You know, I'm going to go seven. One, two, four. All right, that's eight drops. Now, this is what I saw in this last video I watched, and they got really good results from it. Is they didn't really mix it, they just kind of folded the silicone into the paint to kind of get it all around. Not a big stir or anything like that, but just kind of folded it. So that's what I'm going to give this time. Just going to kind of fold my silicone in. And you can see it kind of dispersing as you do that. So I'm going to do a dirty pour with this again. I like the dirty pours better because you can kind of control where on the canvas your paint goes. And if you end up with something, some of the flip cut pours, you start out with them and they, they uh, start with something really cool, but by the time you spread it over the entire canvas, you've lost some of it. You know, you distort something that started out being pretty cool. I'm just going to randomly mix these in and I don't know I don't think my cup's going to be big enough for one pour so I may have to pour this into two separate cups kind of made a mess there I'm just going to keep with that same pattern and I don't remember which one I went with now it's already buried Okay, what I am going to do though, so I'm going to switch around and start pouring on the other side now. Got 
Okay, I can already tell I'm not going to get all that in one cup. So I'm going to go ahead and start moving into a second cup. something in my paint right there. I don't know what that was. I think I got it out. I'm going to give that a rotate just like I did on the other one. out of orange. That'll be the last pour for orange and white and green. Go light on the green. I got a little more purple than I do any other color so I'll finish with purple. Oh, I'll finish with the purple and the blue-green. That's going to finish off my orange. Finish off my white. Oh crap! <laughs> Sorry. That's gonna finish off my leaf green. Now finish off my purple, and finish off my blue green. Okay. So I'm gonna clean all this up a little bit and move the canvas back in the middle of the camera and then we'll start pouring. Okay, we're ready to pour. Now this canvas, it's a 16 by 20. This is the biggest one I've ever done, so this will be interesting. I, uh, I always prepare my canvases with gesso, or sorry, gesso, I always want to say gesso, I know it's gesso, so don't make fun of me if I say it wrong. I always prepare it with the gesso. I put two coats on top of what it came with from the factory. And I've got a video, I'll put a link up there at the top showing you a link to that video of how I apply the gesso. So, and I did this before and I think I'm going to do it again. Just give that a little bit of a stir to kind of mix the paints a little bit. And just try and go relatively random here. And I can see already that I'm actually getting cells. Go ahead and use some of this for my corners. Always try and pour a little extra on the corners. Makes it easier. And this one I'm not going to stir. We'll see if it makes a difference. It does kind of look different. So make sure I get plenty to my corners along my edges. Okay, now this is my other deal with this is just off a box. It's off a monster box, but a you know a little cardboard case of Dr. Peppers, anything, I just cut these off. This is pretty thick. Tell you what, I'm gonna slide that down. And these these edge protectors work really good on keeping you from losing too much paint until you get everything slid around. And I'm going to torch this, but I'm not going to torch it till I get everything where I want it. 
basically till I covered my entire canvas. But what I found using these edge protectors, it keeps the paint from running off, but it builds it up along the edges, and then when you take the edge protector off, it flows right down the sides and covers your sides really well. My orange paint actually looks better than what I was thinking it was going to look. Using a lot of paint off that side right there so I can get some of that to run back down the other direction. I'm always afraid of getting outside of the frame of the video. I'll try to zoom in as close as I can to where you can have a good visual of what I'm doing. But then I'm always afraid I'm going to lose the get outside of the frame of the video too. Getting close. One more corner. And this is a, I, I guess this mix, you know, it looked good in the jars, but it's relatively thick. But we'll see if it's enough it covers the canvas. I don't mind it being being thick as long as I get enough to cover my canvas with. We're almost there. Got my corner. And in there on the side. Okay. So love the color combination. That's kind of crazy. And so far, I've got some pretty good cells coming up on their own. I'm going to go around and hit my sides. I'm like, so far, I found two little spots. Oh, I'm sorry. Make everybody dizzy, hit my camera walking around. So far, I've just got two little, three little spots that did not cover good on the side, so that's good with me. I would like a little more paint to run off this corner here if that's possible. Uh, it's not really running much anymore, is it? Okay, I'm going to leave well enough alone then. That's one thing I have learned about this. Let me readjust my camera, I'm sorry. Okay, we're back in now. Okay, so now I'm going to see what happens with the torch. And it's popping bubbles. I had a lot of bubbles in it, apparently. Every little bubble that pops it comes up white underneath. I don't know why that is. And the last time I used silicone and was successful with it, uh, it took a while. It took 15-20 minutes really for all my cells to pop up. Well, that's just a little quick hit with a torch. I'll be honest with you, and I may be doing it wrong. If you got ideas, you want to leave comments for me. I haven't had a lot of success with the torch bringing up cells. That's what everybody talks about, that the torch will bring cells up.
I can see cells coming up. I think my torches are running out of butane too. Okay, well that's good enough. Okay, so I've got uh, I got some cells coming up across here. I got some pretty cool looking cells over in that corner. There's a nice one there. There's some running here and here, some smaller ones up in here, and there's a bunch of small ones popping up, some decent sized ones there. There's some starting to pop up here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna let this thing sit for 10, 15, 20 minutes, whatever it takes till it looks to me like it's quit changing. And then we'll come back. I'll try not to move the painting or my camera. That way when we come back, you'll be able to compare what it looks like right now to what it looks like after it sits for a while see if you can you can compare the two and uh, see what it looks like as far as if any more cells have popped up. I can already see there's some the orange cells are making really cool lines across here so anyway so I'm gonna let it sit for a while and we'll come back and take a look at it. Okay I've let this thing sit probably for I'm guessing probably 25-30 minutes and cells did keep popping up uh, like I said it's hard to judge I've been looking at it ever five or ten minutes and it's hard to tell exactly but I got some good cells through here I got a lot of good cells here I had some cells that I don't believe were here before that popped up throughout here and then uh, I got good cells down here I got a few bigger cells over in you know in some areas still didn't get huge cells but I got a lot of cells so I'm, I'm really happy with this it's a good combination to me and the cells are kind of mixed out. I got this little streak that runs through the middle that's got all these little orange and white cells and then the little green and white cells going through here. So I'm happy with this mixture. It's shiny. Uh, I like the way that the, the finish looks. They, they always look a little bit different when they dry, but uh, I'm happy with this mixture. I'm happy with this cells. I'm going to try it again and that will probably be the next video I do. I'll use this same mixture and then use more silicone and see whether I get bigger cells or even more cells. So anyway, I appreciate you watching. Please like and subscribe and I appreciate you sharing my videos. Uh, I've said this before, you know, I've been doing YouTube for a long time, doing Lichtenberg wood burning. I've got over 20,000 subscribers. Uh, I think right now I've got 25 subscribers on this channel and I know it'll come with time. But I appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel and share my videos and help me get the word out that I'm doing this. Uh, I'm going to do some close-ups and show you some of the, the cells a little bit close-up. I'll put those at the end of the video. Thanks again for watching. Bye.